Every six minutes someone in Australia is admitted to hospital because of an osteoporotic fracture. Australia actually has the highest growing rate of adult obesity in the world. Six Australians are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes every day. One in two Australian men and one in three Australian women are diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. In diabetes, the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin are destroyed. The disease can be treated with insulin injections, but this is not a cure because of the lifelong need for daily insulin injections and the risk of complications such as blindness and stroke. One of the most exciting things for me is to see the work that I've been doing over the last 20 years translated to the clinic through transplantation of insulin producing cells. My unit consists of about 20 people, all with different specialities. Uh, and we use these specialities to study a number of major diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, various forms of cancer and viral and bacterial infections. And we've made major discoveries that are world renowned. I study bone diseases not only because people suffer from these diseases, but also because there's very little that we actually know about the skeleton and how it works. My lab researches DNA damage repair, which is a really important process in the prevention of breast cancer and some really uh, rare forms of familial leukaemias. We're looking at the ways to treat diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cancer and also neurodegenerative diseases. I consider myself extremely fortunate to be able to further my career in this group, uh, which has the potential to develop treatments for um, major metabolic diseases. My research has the potential to improve the health of all of these patients. My passion is for understanding how things work and also making a difference to outcomes in diseases like cancer. Yeah, it's a fantastic feeling when you find solutions to things that can make a difference to people in your lifetime. If we can find new treatments to treat osteoporosis, people won't have to go through that pain and suffering. I'm really excited about some recent results in the lab that we hope that in the future will have major implications for the treatment of breast cancer and leukaemia. Thanks to the research we do, I've seen the lives of people with type 1 diabetes transformed.